Season 1 is finally here, and along with it, we've gotten some pretty cool changes in the patch notes, and today, I kind of just wanted to go over those with you guys. We're going to start out with some general changes. The free rotation characters have changed, and they've made it more clear which characters are free rotation and which ones you actually own. The new free rotation, which is going to go until August 30th, is Arya Stark, Batman, LeBron James, and Steven Universe. Battle Pass XP rewards have been doubled. You're going to get 10 XP per win now instead of just 5, and when you lose you're going to get 5 XP instead of 3. This is a great change, it's going to make leveling up the Battle Pass outside of just doing challenges much easier. You get 10 wins, you basically get a daily challenge. That's pretty fair in my mind. They've made it so you can no longer get missions for playing as any class except a tank, and they've also made a lot of challenges easier to complete for the battle pass, which I like as well. Now making our way into balance, we're going to start with perks. Most of the perk changes, as far as I'm aware, are just consistency issues. However, there are two big nerfs. The first of these nerfs isn't actually a nerf to a direct perk, but to the ice debuff overall, which is going to make the ice to meet you perk much worse. Instead of your movement speed being reduced by 20%, it's going to be reduced by 15%. This is absolutely nothing. One stack of ice should not slow you by 15%, maybe 5% at most if you really want this in the game. I just personally think the ice to meet you perk needs to be removed completely. That's just me though. And then the gray health projectile perk. They absolutely gutted this one. They reduced the unstacked gray health that you gain from 3 HP for 3 seconds to 1 HP for 3 seconds. And when you stack it, this goes up to 2 HP for 3 seconds. I think this is fair. Gray health is another very unfun mechanic. And honestly, they should probably just remove that perk as well. It's not like we're hurting for offensive and utility perks. There are a bunch of them in the game. Now for the actual character changes. Arya Stark is getting some changes. And most of them are for consistency and her to actually be able to hit people with her moves. And for them to lead into each other properly. I think this character is going to be seen more often. Not only just because she's free, but she's getting some buffs. And her competition is getting nerfed, which is a really good thing, for Arya Stark at least. Batman got some nerfs, and they're really still a slap on the wrist in my opinion. Um, you can kind of tell they're not trying to kill characters, they're just trying to make them a little more fair. So Batman's going to get some whiff recovery on his jab now, and his Batarang is going to come back 2 seconds slower when he hits you with it and picks it up. I think this is fair. It was up all the time. For Bugs Bunny, his changes can be boiled down to whiff recovery and you can't double rocket anymore. His safe got a little bit weaker in terms of health, but a lot and a lot of these changes are going to boil down to Bugs Bunny is going to be punishable on whiff. His pie was also nerfed. It won't last forever now. It only lasts up to 8 seconds and Pi no longer applies a slow. Good. Finn got nerfed, and I think he's fine after this. I don't think he's going to be struggling too, too badly. He will no longer get coins by attacks that have attack decay on them. I think that's an interesting change, probably for the best and to prevent spamming, right? They actually buffed his gems, but his up special, they just reduce the vacuum hitbox. It's not going to suck you in as hard. It's not going to overwrite stronger knockbacks from other attacks. Whiffing all the hits will still drop a coin. They added whiff recovery, so it'll be easier to punish when he misses the move. And overall, the hitboxes should not be as obnoxious. But we're probably going to have to wait until the hitbox overhaul patch, which is going to be the next one, I think. His aerial side attack won't be able to hit behind him as easily anymore. And then they gave him some whiff recovery on his ground side attack. And also they made it so his ground down attack will only send him very far forward on the charged version. 
basically finn is going to be easier to punish now and the moves people have been complaining about are less obnoxious garnet got some slight buffs but i think they're actually pretty good so her song will activate on frame 12 instead of frame 30 that is a gigantic buff i think that's going to help her a lot and then her aerial neutral attack is going to have higher base knockback harley's only change for the most part other than a bug fix was that her weight was buffed from 42 to 44. I think that this is just to bring her more in line with the other assassins, but I also think this is them saying that they like where Harley is. They like that Harley is still a character that can perform. If you're hitting her attack, she's still very fast, but if you're whiffing her moves, you can punish her. I think Harley is kind of where they want a lot of these overpowered characters in top tiers to be at in terms of balance and i agree with that i think harley is actually in a good spot harley players i think are really only frustrated with the character because they have to compete with characters like bugs bunny so that's a good change and guys you won they nerfed iron giant to shit he's still good i think most of this is addressing the very overpowered gray health duo team that he can run with characters like Velma. So the gray health on his neutral special, his up attack, and his down attack have all been reduced, but they also made his combos a bit worse, which I'm a little confused by. I don't think he needed that. His neutral attack in the air is not going to combo as well, and it's going to send people further out horizontally to make it harder to follow up off of it. I don't like that at all. Combos are fun. I don't like removing combos in games. I think that's pretty much strictly unfun in terms of balance. His up attack will no longer hit some people twice. I think that's fair because you pretty much get a guaranteed kill off the top every time that happened and they were above like 70%. So I think that's fair. The down special got some changes I'm fine with and one change that I don't super love but also might be a buff in a weird way. We'll see how it goes. So the down special, you can no longer use it when you're out of air specials. That's good. That means if you're good at hitting people out of this move and they keep spamming it, you can keep them in the air and they will run out of resources and you can just get them off the side and kill them after that, you know? If you're spamming down special, you're going to get punished even harder now. I think that's a good thing. It seems like they finally fixed the infinite where he just down specials and combos you infinitely. And then the knockback angle was changed to send fighters horizontally and away from the Iron Giant. Again, gonna be kind of hard to follow up off of this move. I think that's kind of annoying. Uh, however... This might give him another horizontal kill option, which might benefit him depending on the map. This could make him better on tree fort, so he's not having to fly to the top of the screen. I think that actually could be pretty beneficial to the character. We'll have to see. But overall, I think the changes are good. The gray health needed to go. Making his combos worse, I think, is a little strange. But still, I think these are healthy for the game. Jake the dog got nerfed, and I kind of get it. They removed the instant cancel out of the attack to prevent skateboard infinites. I think that's very fair. And there's additional whiff recovery on up attack. And then LeBron got a heaping ton of changes, and I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not really sure how LeBron works super well to begin with. But from what I understand, a lot of this is designed to give him more combo opportunity. But one of the coolest changes for LeBron for me this patch is that side attack and down attack will no longer share attack decay. So what would happen before is if you were using jab a lot, then your down attack would also be attack decayed, and that is super obnoxious. That is just not fun. Glad they fixed that. Rain Dog got more nerfs than buffs. So for buffs, they removed the hit pause on an ally that threw Rain Dog when Rain Dog connects in ball form so your ally isn't affected in any way from that and they made up attack in the air a larger hitting move but they also increased the cooldown from 13 seconds to 14 seconds on the neutral special which you know cooldown nerfs are big a one second nerf if you use that move 20 times you have to wait 20 more seconds 
that's a big deal and that's easily rain dog's best move i think rain dog definitely comes out worse after this patch than he did in the previous one i still think he's fine but definitely a bigger nerf than buff shaggy got nerfed but all they basically did was make it so it's easier to punish a whiffed side special this should stop side special spam and yeah that's deserved steven mostly got bug fixes and something where watermelon steven's ability cooldown actually begins when steven is wrung out now here's where we get to the first of the balance changes that i don't super like and that's for the superman changes his neutral attack up attack and down special on the ground got whiff recovery and this is a very silly change in my mind yeah you're gonna be able to stop the armor spamming which i think is what a lot of people were complaining about he was just spamming his armor in low level and people were getting eaten alive but the biggest issue in my opinion with this character is with him grabbing you and killing you at ridiculously early percents uh, and that's the same in this patch. I think Superman in this patch is almost just as good as he was in the last patch. And a lot of his competition is also getting whiff recovery and getting nerfed. So I think he's actually going to come out stronger this patch than he was last patch. But hey, we'll see how it goes. Taz, uh, he got a lot. So his chicken debuff is the only nerf I can tell that he got. Actually, he got one to up special. His chicken debuff is going to be shorter, and they increase the size of the chicken, so I guess it's easier to hit someone in chicken form now, but it doesn't last as long. And then they made it so Taz is better at spitting projectiles back out at people, and that it's more effective. And when he eats a projectile that he cannot spit back out, it will restore his apple cores. They nerfed his up special. It's going to do less damage and less knockback now which I think is very fair. But now his side special is a cooldown move. A full powered tornado has a 1.5 second duration and receives one extra second after passing an ally. It's on a seven second cooldown. But when it is on cooldown, the tornado only has a 0.25 second duration and does not gain anything from passing through an ally. And then his ground up attack is now a two hit attack. This could be good for like breaking armor, like Wonder Woman armor, for example. Uh, and it should be more consistent and combo into itself better. Tom and Jerry got buffed in this patch, which is the other change I don't like. I know Tony said they're trying to figure out how to address Tom and Jerry. And I get that. I know they're not trying to like kill characters, especially a character that's only really performing at the top level. But this character also won the three recent big tournaments. Coinbox 1v1, Evo, and Coinbox 2v2 were all won by Tom and Jerry. Getting a buff off of that and being able to apply ice off of Dynamite now, I think this character is going to be a menace and I'm really not excited to see him. Now for a pretty good change, Velma got some nerfs. The side special is not going to go as far, so they made her recovery even worse. Her up special is not going to apply as many weakening stacks, and you can't just do, you know, up special, down air, up special, down air as easily now. The ground side special does not give as much gray health now. Aerial down attack has more recovery in general, while aerial side attack has more whiff recovery, thank god. Her grounded neutral attack has less ammo now, which is a big deal. Her weight has been decreased even further to 60, and then the gray health she gets from the knowledge is power perk is now even worse. That's pretty damn good. And finally, the final change for this patch. Wonder Woman got buffed. Her lasso is going to be up more often now. Her projectile shield is going to come out earlier to help her fight projectiles. Uh, and her weight has been increased from 65 to 76. So Wonder Woman is a tank who actually has tank stats now. Those are pretty great changes for the character. I like that they're not overly buffing her after she won Evo. But only one person is really playing Wonder Woman at that level. So I don't really blame them for still buffing the character. That's going to do it for today's Season 1 Balance Changes. Let me know if you like these non-scripted videos where I just go over the patch notes. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I mean, we just passed 11k, 
and I haven't even uploaded since I've hit 10k and by the way sorry about that after I hit 10k I did an 8 hour stream the next day and then on Friday I decided to give myself a little day off and just relax and celebrate with my friends uh, but I am back we're getting back to five uploads a week this week season one is here let's get hype Black Adam and Stripe are a thing apparently holy shit <laughs> that is crazy I was not expecting those characters at all especially black adam so soon i wonder if black adam is going to come out in october as the final character in season one whatever whatever that's it that's a topic for another day thank you guys so much for watching and i'll smell you guys later yeah. 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 Yeah.